assalamu alaikum welcome to ecl easy computing lecture before going to start this lecture please like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos our today topic is again from data mining series that is k mean color string in the previous lectures we have discussed about the different types of classification algorithms such as knn classification decision tree nave base and single layer neural network now from on we will talk about the different types of clustering algorithm our today topic is k mean clustering algorithm after today lectures student will be able to learn about the k mean clustering and its solved example it is very easy to understand the working steps of k mean clustering in first step we will take the random k of object which means that if suppose we have a data set which consists of the 10 objects or the 10 samples first we will select the random k suppose that we select the k is equal to 2 it means that we want to make the two cluster so based on this value based on the value of k we will take the two random means from that objects that is known as m1 and m2 in the second step what we will do we will check that which of the object is more closer to m1 or m2 if we will take the value of k is equal to 3 then we will take the three means value which are m1 m2 and m3 and once we will complete and make all the clusters then this process will remain continue until we will get the same clusters and the same means in three iteration in the three iteration if we will get the same cluster with the same means then we will stop working and we will get or obtained our final clusters this is all about the three step of k mean algorithm now let's start with the example of k mean clustering and we here we have a data k is equal to 2 3 4 10 11 12 20 25 20, and 30 and here we have already defined the random value of k is equal to 2 which represents the cluster it means that we want to we want to make two clusters for the given data so if we have the k is equal to 2 then we will take the two random values as a mean value from these values of k and i have select here m1 is equal to 4 and m2 is 12 which are random you can also select 10 as m1 or 30 as m2 it depends on you it's your random choice if you are taking k is equal to 3 then you will select the three values as a mean that will be m1 m2 and m3 so for this scenario when you have taken the two values of mean m1 is equal to 4 and m2 is equal to 12 then in the next step what you will do in k you have first object is 2 you will check that either this 2 is close to m1 or m2 so you can see that 2 is more closer to m1 as compared to m2 then it will become the part of the cluster k1 then you will check the distance between the 3 and the 4 and 3 and 12 the 3 is more closer to m1 as compared to m2 then 3 will be the part of cluster 1 similarly 4 will be the part of cluster 1 and then when you will check the other objects that is 10 11 12 20 25 and 30 you can see that these objects are more closer to m2 that is 12 so these all the objects will come in cluster two now you will again take the mean of the cluster 1 and you will take the mean of the cl cluster 
in the first step you have selected the random mean, mean value but once you will make the cluster so secondly you will find out the values after taking the means of the cluster values so you have taken the mean of these values so you will take the mean of the cluster 1 value 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9 divided by 3 you will get m1 and once you will add all these value you will get and take the average you will get m2 now again you will repeat the same procedure and you will check that either k is close to m1 or m2 and then you will make again the cluster m2 is at to have less distance with the m1 so it will come in cluster 1 similarly 3 4 and 10 and for the values of 11 12 20 25 30 are more closer to the 18 as compared to the 3 that's why these value will come in cluster k2 again you will take the mean of these values in k1 and you will take the cluster of the values that are in k2 11 12 20 25 30 this is the m1 value that is approximately equal to the 4.7 so that's up we have write this value after the round off in k2 we you will take the average of 11 12 20 25 and 30 you will get 90 point something after round off you will get the m2 is equal to 20 you can see that in previous clusters and in the uh, in the second clusters these clusters are different it means that our procedure will our procedure will remain continue until we will get the same cluster in the 3 or 2 iteration in the last uh, slide when you obtain m is equal to 5 and m2 is equal to 20 so you will get these clusters k1 2 3 4 10 11 12 and k2 is 20 25 and 30 now again we will take the average of k1 values and the k average of k2 values we will again get m1 is equal to 7 and m2 is m2 is equal to 25 now you will again check 2 is closer to m1 or m2 then you can see that the distance between 2 and 7 is 5 so it will come in k1 then 3 is near to m1 the distance between 3 and 7 is 4 that it will come in k1 similarly once you will complete you will get the cluster k1 is equal to 2 3 4 10 11 12 and the other values 20 25 and 30 are more near to 25 then they it will come in cluster k2 now you will take the mean of these values that include in k1 then you will get m1 is equal to 7 and when you will take the average of 20 25 and 30 you will get the average of 25 known as m2 now you can see that in the previous iteration and in the next iteration the m1 the means value for m1 are same similarly the mean value for m2 are the same that are 25 25 it means that if we will repeat this iteration then in next iteration we will get the same value for m1 and m2 it means that we will we have obtained the final cluster k1 and k2 with the value 2 3 4 10 11 12 for k1 and 20 25 and 30 for k2 respectively so once we will achieve this criteria we will stop our algorithm this is all about the k-mean clustering and if you have the three clusters then you will find the three values of m1 m2 and m3 you can extend this idea for the big data i hope that you understand this working of k-mean clustering algorithm if you have any question please comment in the box I will reply you as soon as possible. Before ending this lecture, please like, share and subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you.